Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Sage and welcome to this video everybody. This is going to be a very special video unlike everything that I normally do in most of my videos. Since almost all of you guys requested for me to do this video, I figured that I would go ahead and do it. Um, as you guys can see here, over 60% of you guys wanted to see this video because I do edit and record all of my videos using just my phone and I upload it to YouTube. I make my thumbnails, I make my videos, I record, I edit, I do everything using just my phone. So I will be going over methods of doing this on Android and iOS. So I will be, first I'll be talking about how to do thumbnails, then I'll be talking about how to do your video recording itself, and then I'll be talking about editing software. So each of these do have differences because some of them are for Android and some of them for iOS. I will be talking about which is for which, just so you guys can have an idea of what to do. And hopefully it does help you guys. If this video does help you, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel because we're slowly but surely approaching 10k. And if you're watching this sometime late in the future and I've already passed 10k, well welcome to the video. My name is Sage and it's cool to see you here. You should totally subscribe to the channel because I do post videos every single day and I keep up making content that you guys always ask me to make. So if you guys have any requests for videos you would like to see in the future, let me know down in the comments because I would be more than happy to make a video about it. That being said, let's get right into this video. So the first thing that you gotta worry about when you're talking about editing videos on your phone is going to be your thumbnail, guys. Your thumbnail is very important. It's what everybody sees before they click on your video. You're gonna wanna make your thumbnail very interesting, and there's a really good way to do it on your phone only. So first things first, I would just like to apologize about the ratio of the screen here. It didn't let me go into landscape mode. Now looking at this uh, this app here, it is called Photo Director. You are able to edit photos using the actual camera itself, or you can use your gallery. You just have to allow it access to your gallery, and then you can see here, you have every single photo that you have on your phone. You can choose anything you need. Any single photo that you want to use in your thumbnail, guys, you can choose it, and then you can edit in any single way that you want. Now for me personally, whenever I'm making a thumbnail, I choose a picture such as this one here. I crop it to the 16-9 size, the correct size, um, because all thumbnails on YouTube are 16-9 ratio. And then so I crop it and then I make the background blurry. And then I do this a few times to make the background extra, extra blurry. This is just how I make my thumbnails. And so either you could use the, uh, the, the blender function there or you can click this button here, which is the feature that allows you to add images to it. So when you click on this, you can actually rotate and change the size of anything you want to add to it. You can choose any photo from your gallery that you have downloaded or anything you have like in your other folders and you can place them onto the thumbnail and you can actually add text like I said, like, uh, like you see here. You can add any sort of text that you want to it. You can add photos. Um, you could add anything that you want to make a decent thumbnail. And this goes for any amount of photos that you want to put. As long as it fits on the screen, you are able to put it in. Of course, you can shrink it down to size. But for instance, you can see here, this is a pretty basic thumbnail. You can just put whatever you want on it. And then boom, once you have your like thumbnail that you have in mind, then this is all you have to do. That's your thumbnail right there. Then you can just save it and it's good to go. These two apps also serve the same purpose if Photo Director is not available on whatever device you are using. These two apps right here, Polish or Polish and Pixel Lab here, they both do the same function perfectly. So we've talked about thumbnail making, but we haven't talked about one thing, recording software. So there's a lot of things that you need to know about recording software, and I'll just keep it nice and basic for you. If you want to use a recording software, you got to use one that doesn't have a floating thing on your screen. So one recording software you can use is called AZ Screen Recorder. Now with this one, you can actually live stream, record, take screenshots, and do everything you could possibly imagine. You can stream to YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook using this one, and it records at, uh, I believe, 1080p, 60fps. Um, you can change everything here in the settings. Um, there's a lot of settings that you can tweak and change to adjust your phone. So even if you have a, even if you don't have a high quality phone, you can change everything you want here. For instance, you can see their frame rate, you can see the resolution, everything there. It all works perfectly. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you can change too, such as the language. And if you have questions, you can email them at any time. But this is one really good example of a screen recorder that you can use. And this one does not have any floating bubble on your screen whenever you're trying to record anything, which is always really good. This one here is called Game Screen Recorder, and it actually it does the same thing, so if you couldn't use the other one, then this one works in the same function. My personal one that I use is called Game Booster. This is the one that comes factory with my phone. 
Um, you're able to record only with it. You can't stream or anything, but it records in-game audio instead of just microphone, and it works so well. So if you're able to use this one, you should. So now we've talked about making your thumbnails and your recording software, but now we have to talk about editing. So there's a couple apps that you can use that work both for Android and iOS for editing, and they all have a bunch of really cool functions that you can use. My personal favorite editing software is called PowerDirector. So there is a pro and there is a um, like a normal version of this. The pro doesn't have a watermark, but the like this the normal one does. However, I do have a cracked link to the pro like the pro version without any watermarks on it. So I'll have the link to that down in the description. You can go download that for free. Um, so you guys should definitely go check this one out if it's available for you because it is an amazing software editor. You can use all sorts of really cool functions such as green screens, you can use video cutting, you can change the, like, the way that everything looks. There's all sorts of clips that you can select that you have from your phone. So let's for example take any clip that we have on my phone here, we can put it down and then we can change everything about it. We can change how loud the audio is. We can change the crop so we can zoom way in if we wanted to. And then as you can see here, that's how the video would play. And you can make cuts in the video to change when you want that. And so you can change this to no effect if you don't want anything. And then you can just fix the crop afterwards. So once you change it all, um, you'll be able to zoom it out after you've undone that. And then you can go ahead and cut a small part of it down. And so what you're going to want to do at that point is you want to go back into your settings, crop, and then you want to zoom back out. You'll go right back to the screen you were at before, and it works perfectly for it. And you can change a whole bunch of other things as well, such as colors. You can see here there's a whole bunch of filters that you can put over your video, and you can use the splitting feature to make different parts of your videos different colors. And all these here, they make your video look so much more clean on YouTube, and they make everything look great for your viewers, which is a definite plus, something you want to do. And they have a whole bunch of really cool effects as well, such as this one, which traces everything. Thing. I would just have to crop my screen to fit it because I do have a note 9 so it is a different like screen ratio but as you can see there you can take off the like the actual effect and you can put other ones on there such as the old movie style one which is a really really cool looking one it's one of my favorites so yeah guys this is one of the best editing softwares out there so for iOS users, the main one that you're going to want to use is called Kind Master. you can see right here. And so there is an actual cracked link to this one as well, where it doesn't have any uh, watermark. Hopefully this isn't patched by the time this uh, video goes out, or if it's not patched sometime in the future. Um, but this one is called Kind Master. This is basically the same functions as the Power Director as I was showing before. You can choose any ratio you want, and all the editing features that were on Power Director are here. This is basically the Power Director meant only for iOS. So people who have Apple devices, this is the main editor that you will want to use. So this one here is called Adobe Premiere Clip. This is available on both iOS and Android devices. It works the same way as the others, except this one's a lot more simple and it doesn't have a watermark. Instead, it will just show you advertisements. You can edit both pictures, videos, anything you want on here. It's a lot more simple edits as well. So for somebody who's not looking for something complex and crazy, this is definitely for you. So after you've gone ahead and you've finished your video and your thumbnail, you've head on over to YouTube to upload it. You can choose whatever clip it was that you made, like whatever video you made, and then you can choose your thumbnail, title, you can enhance it, you can add music to it from there if you want. YouTube has its own little like editor thing there, but you can choose your title, you can choose your description of course, you can do everything you want about it, and at this point you have done everything on your phone. And you can also change the privacy of the picture, or the video rather, to if you want it to be public, private, or unlisted, and you've done everything on your phone. So everybody, if you've made it this far in the video, if you if it did help you, make sure to click that like button guys and also subscribe to my channel. I would very much appreciate it. I put a lot of work into this video into getting everything from iOS and Android, even though I don't even have an iOS. I did a bunch of research on things that'll work for iOS and Android both. So hopefully this video did help you. Like I said, let me know down in the comments if it did. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next. If you would like to see more helpful videos on or more helpful videos on things like this, or if you want to know how to stream using just your phone, I know how to do all that stuff as well. Um, it all works perfectly, guys. I have all the knowledge you guys could possibly need. So um, be sure to join my Discord, which I'll talk more about right now. So I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of questions about this topic. I tried to explain everything as best as I could. I don't normally make videos like this. However, um, I, everybody wanted to see it, so... Hopefully, this video does help you guys. If you do have any questions, though, you should definitely join my Discord server. When you join, you'll have easy communication with me and any other moderators who will be more than happy to answer your questions as well. Um, you can also leave your questions if you don't have a Discord. You can leave them down in the comments, and I'll try and answer as many of them as fast as I can. 
Um, but that being said, guys, if I'm unable to get to it, it's likely because there are so many people asking questions. Um, and if, I, if I'm not able to get to it in time, then you should definitely join my Discord server because you can talk to me at any time that you want. Um, and I'll be able to answer your questions whenever you need them. So if you guys haven't already, definitely join my Discord server. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it did help you guys. I know that it definitely helped me when I first, like, found all this stuff. So see ya.